All right, guys, there it is. 2008 Ford Mustang GT. This is a 4.6 liter, three valve modular engine, cranking out 300 horsepower and 320 pounds of torque stock. So this is my daily driver here. It's a five speed manual transmission, it's sitting on 19 inch by eight and a half all around. My tire combo is 255 40 by 19s. I have uh, a Toros in the front and I have Falcons in the back. This is pretty much a bone stock vehicle other than the uh, actual turn signals there. As you can see, these are the clear ones. I believe they're smoked. I do have the tire and wheel combination, the uh, flat finish there. It's actually a satin finish. As you can see clearly in the, in the sun, uh, well, in the light, it shimmers nicely. It's not like a complete black, just flat. I really don't like the appearance of a flat, flat, flat color. As you can see, I've got the uh, aftermarket shift knob there. Some decals. I definitely need uh, need new window tint. Still have original stock tail lights. Satin three valve license plate. Got the puny little exhaust tips, which I will soon be upgrading to the four inch tips. That's for damn sure. Other than that, the car is, like I said, bone stock. It's got a K and N filter, drop in filter, of course, and no antenna because I do have an aftermarket radio, which Pandora works for me. Don't need any more radio. And uh, that's pretty much it for the outside. As you can see, it's a clean looking car with really no modifications whatsoever, except for, like I said, the tire and wheel combo. And even then they're not even staggered, but it still sits nicely and it looks pretty damn good. I wanted to touch base on the paint there that's not a paint job and that's not a wrap that's actually plastic dip and if we take a close look it is a pretty smooth finish as i did spray it with the actual sprayer um, it's been on there for about seven months now i do have a few nicks as you can see there's one there a few scratches and uh sometimes there's going to be waxes that are really hard to remove after washing the car i try to manually wash it but eh and then you can't escape little bubbles like this after water actually gets in it. Uh, this has been on there since I, I actually did it, so it's not going to get any worse than that, really. But there it is, guys. Bone stock. Get a close look at that. Oh, yeah, and I also forgot to tell you guys about the muffler delete. So I didn't go out there and buy a $300 axle back. Like that ugly ass charger that just passed i uh i just went ahead and removed the actual mufflers and straight piped it from there so the axle back is just a straight pipe per se and uh that's pretty much it it sounds pretty good and i'll get some uh, exhaust clips for you guys just now This is what it sounds like from the inside of the vehicle. We'll go ahead and give it a few revs here. So now sitting in the driver's seat here, you can see from the front view, we have the uh, hood scoop there. It looks pretty nice. Uh, so it obviously looks pretty beefy as you're driving. Uh, you have this big old steering wheel, very reminiscent to the old school muscle cars, of course. Got the big old gauges as well. 
um, along with your detailed gauges, you know, your gas, your oil temperature, you know, your water coolant temperature, and your battery um, voltage. You got the uh, AC blowers, uh, you got your radio, and your AC controls. Then you got your shift knob here, which this is actually an aftermarket shift knob as well. Went ahead and uh, threw that on there just to keep it old school, you know. Uh, the the one that comes actually on the car is pretty nice, but it just uh, didn't do it for me. Um, you also have, you know, well this one has the uh, black leather uh, ribbed interior, so it's pretty clean. Now the, the car is not clean because I haven't cleaned my car, but you get the point. This is an aftermarket radio as well, um, and I added that engine to start button. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple and pretty clean car. Uh, just fun to drive more than anything. People don't buy these for the interior. Uh, they usually just buy them for the performance. And um, one of the features I did add to this vehicle was the lighting. So I can change the colors with, uh, let's see here. As you can see, I get lighting down there. I get some lighting back here. And so at night, this looks great. Now I can go ahead and switch it up depending on what color I want. Uh, I have it set to red right now as I do have my lighting set to red as well so that is it for the inside let's go outside to the outside now all right so here's an example of how the uh, push to start button actually works you still turn on the ignition clutch in make sure this is on neutral and just guys so it's already 7 30 p.m. here it's already getting dark as you can see and I wanted to quickly show you guys that cool interior lighting and uh, I wanted to show you my actual lighting setup here it's extremely bright I do have LEDs for for everything the halo uh, I'm sorry the uh, the fog lights and the actual headlights as well as these bulbs in here everything is a an LED as well as my interior lighting and I'll make another video a little bit more in depth on, uh, on that but as you can see we got LEDs and then we got the uh, I do have the uh, my color so I can switch that up but right now I'm just gonna leave it as red and uh, since I do have the red in here. All right, guys, let's go for a little ride. All right, guys, so to wrap things up, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be making more videos, uh, hopefully on some mod installations. Um, I'll, I'll definitely be doing more videos on this, guys. And I want to give you guys a quick review on other things, my thoughts and stuff like that. And if, especially if you're thinking of getting a Mustang, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know why I chose this particular Mustang and uh, how I ended up getting this thing. You got to love that sound. Here's a quick downshift. like button leave your comments down below any questions and i'll get back to you guys hit that big subscribe button guys thanks we'll stay tuned